guys, welcome to the video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing a little bit of a glimpse into my morning routine. Having a set and a structured morning routine is just something that's so important to me. Uh, it helps start my day on the right foot and start in just like a positive, clear mindset. A lot of people ask me how I stay so positive all the time and honestly making time for self-care and my morning routine is a huge part of my self-care is one of the reasons why I do stay in a positive mindset for the majority of the time. Of course, we all have our bad and off days, but I notice that as soon as I'm not on my morning routine, it's a trigger for me to sort of be in an anxious state and in a not so positive mindset. So if being in a structured morning routine is not something that you're already doing. I highly suggest, you know, carving out 10, 15, even five minutes of your day, getting up a little bit earlier so that you can do some things that help you just sort of take care of yourself mentally and emotionally and spiritually. Um, so for me, some of the key things that are so important are obviously waking up, um, getting into the bathroom, brushing my teeth, and then I get back into bed and I always start my day with my devotionals. Uh, the one that you saw in the video is Closer, Closer to God Each Day by Joyce Meyer. And then um, I read one before bed too, and that one is called Ending Your Day Right, also by Joyce Meyer. I have a couple on my phone too as well that I'll use and read when I travel. Um, Jesus Calling is one of them. And then The Confident Woman by Joyce Meyer is literally my probably my favorite devotional. I've read through it like three times. I love it. so. Um, those are my, kind of my go-to's. And then I wake up, I always start with a cold, a fresh lemon water. Uh, lemon water is really, really great for just kick-starting your digestion and obviously getting water in right away. I don't allow myself to drink coffee until I've had at least like 20 ounces of water. So starting my day with some lemon water and then I actually just picked up um, this journal on Amazon. I've gotten a lot of questions and people asking about this journal when I've showed it on my Instagram story. It's just called the five minute journal. Um, like I said, I just found it on Amazon, but it's really cool. Uh, each day has like a great little quote. Um, some of them have little challenges like cook a homemade meal this week for a loved one. But what I love the most is that the initial part of the journal is first sharing with yourself some of the things that you're grateful for. I just truly believe in the power of starting every single day with a grateful heart. Um, and then what would make today great? So thinking about like the three things that will make my day the most amazing and best day it possibly could be. And one daily positive affirmation. I'm just so huge on positive affirmations. It's actually something that I challenge the girls in my program, the women in my program that I work with to state their positive affirmations that they're gonna focus on every day, each week and I have them share them either on Sunday or Monday of each week with their commitments for the week. You know, I actually asked, I did one of those polls on Instagram yesterday, um, asking people, asking my followers if if they write down what their commitments are for the week. Um, it's something that I strongly encourage my clients, the women in my program to do because when you see them visually and you state them out verbally, they just become so much more real and so much more powerful. And I was actually quite surprised um, with that poll. 80% of people so that they don't write down their daily or weekly commitments. So just a little tip for you guys, if it's not something you already do, I highly suggest it. Uh, just having it somewhere that you can see visually and that you can state out loud verbally what your commitments are for the week. And you can revisit them every day. And when you do that, I guarantee you, you're gonna be so much more likely to stick to those commitments. And it just becomes so much more real and powerful and motivating when you see them visually. So quick tip for you guys. Um, like I said, I hope that you enjoyed getting a glimpse into my morning routine. I got a lot of requests to show you guys sort of how I start my day, uh, what's up for the rest of the day and the rest of the video. I'm going to be sharing some recipes with you guys. If you watched my uh, series one episode, series episode one video uh, where we did a little bit of a grocery haul, I talked about some recipes that I would be sharing with you. So I'm going to share a couple of those today. So stay tuned for the video, guys. Thank you for being here. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and I'll catch you in the next clip. All right guys, first recipe we're gonna do is an avocado smoothie. This is something that I love to do for like my first meal of the day. It's like a higher fat, um, get that good healthy brain function going, keeps you full for quite a while. Um, so step by step, the first things first, obviously avocado, some spinach, cinnamon, stevia to sweeten, this is your preference, almond butter, 
unflavored glutamine. This is a really good way to get your daily serving of glutamine in. Um, if you guys remember me talking about this in the last video, glutamine is not only amazing for recovery, but it's really, really good for gut health as well. It actually acts as like a little bit of a band-aid for the small intestine. And then I'm gonna do a serving of maca powder as well. And for the protein source, we're gonna do a serving of the S'mores BPI ISO HD. Let's get started. So spinach is actually flavorless. If you've never put spinach in a smoothie or you've seen people do it and you think like, ew, gross, <laughs> when you blend it, it's actually flavorless. So it just adds an easy way to get in those added uh, vitamins and nutrients. I'm gonna do a half an avocado. Do our serving of the ISO HD. S'mores is my absolute favorite flavor, hands down. Second would be peanut butter candy bar. So I'm actually gonna eyeball a half scoop. I'm gonna get protein in from all of the other sources in here as well, including the almond butter. So half scoop of protein will do it for me. Obviously you can adjust the serving to your macros or to your liking. A little bit of cinnamon. one packet of stevia obviously the protein powder adds a nice sweetness already one serving of maca powder and one serving of unflavored glutamine maca powder is pretty flavorless too it kind of has like a little bit of like a nutty woody ish flavor but it totally gets masked by everything else that's in the smoothie I do about a tablespoon of almond butter You should always lick the spoon. And whatever gets on the side of the blender too. Last but not least, ice and almond milk. I really just kind of eyeball it. I'll start blending and then if I need to add more liquid or more ice, I'll do that as I go. Perfect. Just got some monthly supplements from BPI, as if I need any more. <laughs> and a new shirt. Squeeze me. Because we do have our new liquid water enhancers, which have been like a lifesaver for getting supplements in on the go because who wants to carry around like a giant tub of powder. Um, there's carnitine, there's best energy, there's a regular BCAA, and then there's a uh, Garcinia as well. CLA coconut oil aminos, amino pump. We love to get that good pump in the gym. And then these are actually uh, part of our all naturals line. So a couple that I take every day are the Focus, the B Complex, and then the D vitamin, as many of us actually are deficient in vitamin D, so I make sure to take those every day. And then collagen for great skin, and omegas, getting your healthy omegas in every day is very, very essential for brain function, heart health, and helps with weight loss as well. Focus Mind Connection. One of our bay, my favorite pre-workout ever. Rainbow Ice is hands down the best flavor, FYI. And, best glutamine. I've talked about this so many times. The benefits of glutamine are literally endless from muscle recovery to gut health. And this one's actually flavored. So you can just pour a scoop into your water bottle and drink it. Um, I use the unflavored in recipes and smoothies and things like that. But this is good if you want to get your water up and flavor your water. I'm actually going to try this one out now. Uh, promotes concentration, mental focus, and energy. I have not tried this product yet. So live taste test super excited so the active ingredients in here are niacin vitamin b12 zinc um, and it's supposed to help with energy memory and well-being there's some other clean energy and mind blend glycine and d ribose and then the focus and neurological blend with the amount of time i spend at the computer taking supplements for enhanced focus in mind 
I'm all about it. Oh my god, that is so good. I will say BPI literally nails the flavor every single time. Like I think they've actually won awards for their flavors. It's so good. And my favorite package to get from Pure Nutrition. So many goodies. Damn, they hooked it up. Oh, this is cute. This is super cute. Bunch of sample packets, roasted garlic and lemon pepper, blackening, cinnamon and honey, my fave, smoky barbecue, roasted garlic, lemon pepper, cinnamon and honey, and blackening, the new ones, peanut butter and chocolate, bomb, and pumpkin spice latte. I'll be using the peanut butter and chocolate for my cookie dough recipe. And, and my lemon CBD oil. I talked about this in the last video, but in case you guys missed it, um, I've been incorporating CBD into my daily regimen to help a ton with inflammation and with my gut healing, and it's honestly been a game changer. I'm so grateful it's made a world of difference uh, for my gut and for my stomach, for my digestion. Um, so I do a dropper of the lemon CBD oil um, twice a day, once in the morning and then once at night. And then I'll use the seasonings throughout the day on my foods. All right guys, next recipe is gonna be a healthy cookie dough. This is gonna be a higher fat, low carb cookie dough. I'm still kind of messing around with this recipe, so you guys are gonna experiment with me. Um, but first things first is gonna be the almond meal or flax meal. This just has like the most delicious, like nutty flavor and just lends itself really perfectly to a really delicious edible cookie dough. I've tried it with coconut flour and it just was a little too like grain, not grainy, but just uh, dry for me. So I'm gonna stick with the almond meal. Do about a quarter cup. And then we're going to do a half a tablespoon of coconut oil and a tablespoon of almond butter. To add in our chocolate chips. and cured spices, peanut butter and chocolate. Then about a teaspoon, which is one serving. And add one packet of stevia to sweeten. Start there, you can always add more. The peanut butter and chocolate cured spices adds a little bit of sweetness as well, obviously, so don't need too much extra. Then, almond milk. Start small, because I want it to be thick like cookie dough. That might have been perfect. So obviously you can be like more precise with your measurements if you um, are in like a place where you need to be super, super strict with your tracking, but I'm pretty good at eyeballing and knowing what my serv serving sizes are just because I've been doing it for so long. So I pretty much know like what a tablespoon of something looks like or what a quarter cup of something looks like. Um, and then I can enter it into my fitness pal from there. But I think this consistency actually turned out pretty perfect. So what I like to do is I'll actually put it in the fridge or the freezer if I want to eat it like right away. Um, Cause obviously cookie dough tastes better when it's cold. Uh, but let's give it a taste right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's bomb. It's like chocolate peanut butter cookie dough heaven. And I swear the flax meal is a game changer for just like the texture. So I highly recommend using that as your base. Um, and then the chocolate chips that I used are the Enjoy Life Dairy Nut Soy and Gluten-Free Chocolate Chips. 
Um, I am dairy and gluten free. If you're not, you don't have to use those chocolate chips. And the almond butter is just a generic um, almond butter from Ralph's. Uh, it's a local grocery store here in California, but the only ingredient in this is almonds. So just really big on like using things that don't have, have a lot of additives or preservatives. Um, and just getting in whole natural ingredients is just going to be the best for your overall health and your digestion and your gut. So let's stick this in the freezer. And then what I'll typically do is um, I always get like a sweet tooth randomly throughout the day or I like to have something sweet after a meal. So I'll make like a, one serving of something like this keep it in the fridge or the freezer and then just like kind of pick at it throughout the day and save the majority of it for bedtime because that's when we have to have dessert is at the end of the day right uh, and then I'll just kill it at the end of the day so let me know if you guys try this out and what you think I'm gonna take one more bite just for good measure here I approve so good What's up guys? So I just wrapped up work for the day, some coaching phone calls and getting ready for a module tomorrow that I'm doing for the girls on getting through the holidays and staying on track with your goals while still enjoying time with your family and your loved ones and enjoying the foods that you like. Obviously, that's what the holidays is all about and you should never ever have to restrict yourself on the holidays. So that's gonna be going down tomorrow in my live coach as a live coaching call with my girls in my program. Just wrapped up getting that all ready and sorted and ready to go for tomorrow and now i'm here at the cryo zone about to get in a cryotherapy session something that i've been doing for a little over two years now it's helped tremendously with my recovery i absolutely swear by it it's been a huge game changer for me i actually discovered cryotherapy when i was prepping for the arnold um two years ago and i injured my shoulder and i was literally desperate for anything to help me overcome the shoulder injury and just get better and i swear within two weeks of consecutive sessions, I was back to my normal self again. And ever since then, I've just been a believer and a consistent user of crowd therapy. So it's basically three minutes and it's the coldest three minutes of your life. But I swear I would not put myself through that torture if it wasn't worth it. So I'm gonna get in a quick cryotherapy session. And then after that, since I'm gonna be all nice and cold, I'm gonna go to hot yoga. <laughs> you a workout today? I did cardio this morning and then I'm gonna do some hot yoga after, nice. after this. What are you doing hot yoga? At Core Power. Core Power, sweet. Yeah. How are they? So, really quickly, do you want to share with YouTube um, some of your input on like what cryotherapy could help with? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, one of my favorite things about cryotherapy is like the mood. Uh, definitely with the endorphin rush, the dopamine rush, and the adrenaline rush, you feel like happy afterwards. Yes. <laughs> I had a friend who uh, has like had clinical depression since he was like eight years old. And as soon as he got out and I left the room, he was like laughing his ass off. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I swear, great. I've actually said that you feel like you're in like a state of euphoria after you get out. It's Absolutely. so amazing. Yeah. Um, sweet. Have you ever tried cryotherapy before yoga? Hot yoga? No, this will be my first time doing it before sweet. yoga. Hell yeah. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. yeah. In uh, 2011, there's a study done by Nike where they found that approximately like 15 to 16 minutes before you perform, if you do cryotherapy, you'll have a performance enhancement. Damn, okay. Um, so cool. I told that to a couple That's of our amazing. clients. Yeah. Um, somebody took that and did it before hot yoga and gave me some positive feedback. So I'd love to hear your feedback. Yes. Oh my God. Yoga. That's awesome. I've done it before, like my weightlifting workouts before, and it's definitely like gives me great energy going into that, but yeah. never before yoga. Nice. And I usually actually do it after my workouts to okay. like help with recovery. Yeah, yeah absolutely. But, um, yeah, that's neat. that'll be good to yeah. I swear these guys are like a master at like distracting you for these three minutes. <laughs> oh yeah, you got 30 seconds left. Ooh, almost almost done. done. Yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of the recipes and seeing what I do throughout my day. Um, like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna be preparing for a module that I'm doing within my live coach, within my coaching program, doing a live module on getting through the holidays. If that's something that you want me to share some strategies and some tips for here on my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below in the comment section, and also let me know what other things you guys wanna see. What are some other recipe ideas you'd like? Do you want snacks? Do you want quick and easy meals, um, lower carb, higher carb, higher fat, lower fat. What are some things you guys want to see? Leave me some feedback and some comments below. Thank you guys so much for being here. Stay tuned for the next video. I have another, I have a great workout coming for you guys and lots more footage to come. So see you guys in the next video.